Hey everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine. And in today's Inkscape video, we're gonna be talking about align and distribute. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see on my screen right here, I do have a file that I already imported. They are already kind of aligned right here, but I'm just going to pretend that they are all out of whack and kind of just sporadic all around the place. So if you have something that you need to line up together and you don't wanna do it manually, which you clearly could just drag them around manually and put them where you want them, but to do it in a quicker, easier way, um, let's go ahead and select object up here at the toolbar and then go down all the way to align and distribute. So this little box will pop up and I only use align and distribute. I've never used rearrange or remove overlaps. I just never have had the need to look into that. So I'm just gonna show you what I use the most out of just to start getting them aligned with one another. I'm gonna go ahead and select the top row of the four pieces that I have up here by dragging my mouse, holding down and releasing once I have them all selected. So as you can see, they are all individually selected now. So to get them all aligned horizontally, I'm gonna go ahead and select center on horizontal axis. These are all the same, same shape, so it makes it kind of easier to do. You can also select the align top edges icon or even the align bottom edges icon. They're essentially pretty much the same. Uh, depending on what you're using it for. But for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and center on horizontal axis. So now, as you can see, they are all aligned with each other on the horizontal axis. But on this fourth, the third and fourth one, they're still overlapped and the gaps in between each one, they're just not um, equal. So to make those gaps equal, we're gonna go down to distribute and this icon is make horizontal gaps between objects equal. So that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And now, as you can see, all the gaps in between them are perfectly equal and they are aligned perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the same thing to the bottom pieces as well. I'm gonna, again, select center on horizontal axis. And then under distribute, I'm going to make horizontal gaps between objects equal. Now, as you can see for this one, it did do what I wanted it to, but they're still overlapping, which I don't want them to overlap. So in that case, you would have to pretty much just drag them off of each other in order to restart and get done what you want done. So I'm just going to manually drag each one and redo it. So if you come into that problem, that's probably what has happened. So I'm gonna go ahead and center again on the horizontal axis and make the gaps equal. So now they are perfectly equal and they're not overlapped and that's where I want them. So at this point, you could just go ahead and drag these pieces all at once where you want them. So if you want them to be as tight as possible with the other pieces and just drag them like this, it makes it a lot quicker than dragging them all individually. So you can play around with all these icons in here, depending on what you need to do with your project. Those are the ones that I use the most and I find very helpful other than just manually dragging them around. So you kind of just have to play around and do what works for you. So I hope that was helpful for you. And if you are interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which my family and I always appreciate. And if you're interested in um, joining our new Facebook group, please feel free to do that as well. I'll have that in the description box below. It's called Students of the Forge, where we share helpful tips, ideas, and more than that as well. So please look into that. And if you have questions, let me know and we'll see you in the next video.